Food science is a really wide topic. There's anything that has to do with food and science. It could be taking a scientific approach, looking at what's happening to anything that you're making in the kitchen or you're eating or you're digesting and, and seeing what are the scientific uh, implications or ramifications of that. The blog itself is uh, paired with the science and food program. So the science and food program has multiple components. It has a class component, uh, which is just a general ed class for non-scientists to learn about cooking and food. And there's also a public lecture series where we invite various chefs and they speak to the community. This is after cooling for 1.5 hours. <laughs> right now we're making ricotta cheese. All we're gonna basically be doing is boiling some milk, adding some vinegar as an acid, uh, and then that'll curdle the milk and it will uh, turn into a solid cheese. We're looking at changing the state of the milk. Milk is a collection of liquids and fats and proteins, and they're all sort of floating around together. What we want to do is change that so that the fat and the proteins clump together uh, from the milk and turn into cheese. That's why we have to add to the milk vinegar. Vinegar will lower the pH and change the structures of the proteins so that they clump. I personally enjoy cooking myself. I think it's one of those things that, unlike science sometimes, which you, you're, you follow the instructions and it doesn't work out, uh, cooking tends to work a little bit easier. I really saw this as a good opportunity to one, incorporate my own love of cooking and bring science to other people who may not normally be exposed to it. What I hope people get from the blog is that it sort of changes their view of science. It's not just a bunch of dudes in white lab coats uh, spinning different colored solutions that boil. I mean, that is science to some extent, but science is looking at things using the scientific method. So in this, our hypothesis is that we can make cheese just by boiling water and adding an acid. That's science, and we're thinking about cooking in a scientific way, and hopefully through the blog, people can approach everything in a more scientific way.